What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you bright and early from Colossal Sports TV. And I am back with another video. I'm not going to prolong this video. Y'all seen the title. This is one reason and one reason only that the newly crowned WBO lightweight champion Jorge Pedraza can defeat the WBA and lineal lightweight champion Vasil Lomachenko December 1st. And that is simply due to ring rust. Will Lomachenko be mentally prepared to put his surgically repaired shoulder to the back of his mind and fight like he normally does. This is the perfect opportunity, if ever, for a fighter like Pedraza to pull off an upset. While I do, I think it's going to happen. Hell no. Doesn't even matter if Lomachenko isn't the same Lomachenko in his first fight back. And it's not like he's been out for a year, but we got to understand, you got to understand that. Shoulder injuries are tricky. You could be out for a while. Just look at Andrew Luck. You know, that is another high contact uh, sport in football. Although it's a little different, he's getting tackled, uh, landing on his shoulder, you know, with 300 plus men, you know, 300 plus pound men landing on him. But look, you don't win boxing by not throwing punches. It's very rare. And for him to be able to throw punches, his shoulder is going to have to be 100% healed, 100% back to how it was because he's going to be testing the range of motion. He's going to be throwing it at different angles. He's going to be throwing a jab. He's going to be throwing an uppercut. He's going to be throwing a right hook. He's going to be throwing body shots. He's going to be using his hands, arms, and everything, shoulder, to defend. So if he make a sudden movement, will he tweak it? Or will he feel pain that really isn't there due to the mental aspect of him being – nervous and reserved about really going all out those are things you gotta uh ask yourself before flat out saying that you know he's gonna be out he's gonna come back guns blazing now i expect the old Vasil lomachenko the same Vasil lomachenko we've seen since he's turned pro i expect that he's gonna work himself in the groove um he's a tremendously skilled fighter so it doesn't necessarily have to be throwing punches or punches around he can throw the minimum, 30-35, and still be just as effective because he has tremendous footwork, foot speed, ring IQ. He's just a gifted all-around fighter. But Jorge Pedraza is a versatile fighter, as we've seen last night against Ray Beltran. And I know that it is Ray, Ray Beltran we're talking about, uh, a guy that's been fighting for 19 years, Manny Pacquiao's long-term um, chief sparring partner, finally became a world champion. But Pedraza has to be given credit. He's a two-division weight champion. He was the former, you know, junior lightweight IBF title, uh, IBF champion before Javante Tank Davis knocked him out in the seventh round and took that title. But if you go to last night's fight, he was able to fight out of the orthodox stance in the southpaw stance. Um, he floored Bel Beltron with the left uppercut. Uh, he has a good jab. Fast, sharp, crisp when, when he uses it. You know, he has somewhat of an inside game. Uh, what I don't like about him is that he got hit with the uppercut when he had Beltran on the ropes. And that is something that Vasil Lomachenko will throw because uh, he tilts his head over, you know, making himself an easy sitting duck target for that uppercut, which I'm pretty sure that Vasil Lomachenko will exploit at some point in their fight. But if... He's going to beat Vasil Lomachenko. December will be the time. You know, yes, he's still going to be healed. But like I said, boxing is more mental than physical. And if the mental aspect is not up to par, it doesn't matter how great a shape you're in. It doesn't matter how strong you are. If you can't cut it mentally, then you fucking finish. And that's with anything in life, especially um, sports. You know, you got to be able to cut it out because you get tired. You know, you have nagging injuries. You have guys that are on your level that you're competing with, and you got to figure out how to offset or make the proper adjustments to keep you know yourself in the game, in the fight, and eventually pull away and win. So while Lomachenko is definitely a mentally strong fighter, 
this is something that to be, you know, that you should pay attention to because one wrong, you know, punch thrown or landed in the wrong way, awkward landing, and he could be re-injured again. He could tweak it. Uh, he could further damage it. You just never know. And I think that if Pedraja is smart, he'd target that shoulder. You know, he'd throw punches at that shoulder, you know, be in a clinch, fucking with the shoulder. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that is the only chance that I see or that's the only way and only, yeah, that's the only way that I see Pedraza winning is if Vasil Lomachenko um, isn't 100% recovered or he's not 100% um, confident in his ability to use that, uh, that shoulder and, you know, fight how he's fought before the shoulder injury. Leave comments in the comment section down below giving me your thoughts on this. Uh, share these videos, Facebook, Google+, Plus, Twitter, Instagram. If you like the video, like it. If you enjoy the content throughout the channel, hit that subscribe button in that post notification bell button. Shout out to everybody in the movement that is moving with us. Be sure to uh, check out 3kingsboxing.com for your latest and greatest updated, unfiltered, and unbiased boxing news and information reported the way it should be. And shout out to the LDBC and everybody in between that's doing the daily boxing and sports grinding, just grinding in general. Until next time, I am out. Peace.